In this video, I would like to show you my three favorite OSINT tools for creating relational graphs to enhance your OSINT investigation. Now, when I started learning OSINT, I relied on my memory to retain the information that I found. However, this made the investigation much more difficult because I often forget critical pieces of information that could have led to new discoveries. This is why using relational graphs are very important because they provide you with a visual representation of the information that you have found. And it is much, much better than using a notepad. Now, each tool that I'm about to show you serves a specific purpose. So the best choice is going to depend on the OSINT investigation that you are conducting. My go-to OSINT tool for creating relational graph is called OSINT Tracker, which is a free browser tool that you can use directly from your browser without having to install any software on your computer. And I use it for simple OSINT investigations because it does not support as many entity types as the tool that I'm about to show you next. So all you have to do is just to go to a website called OSINTracker.com and then click on launch investigation and then you'll be redirected to a page like this in which you can create entities and relationships so here we have an example let's say that we are gathering information about a person called sad saraj i have him in here with his profile picture that i found on the internet and i've added all the other information that i found for example his linkedin account x account email address country etc and from there, for example, I can gather more information about each piece of information. So if we have a LinkedIn account, we might use browser extensions to get the email address. If we have a TikTok account, we might extract the user ID and add more information. If we have an email, then we can use a tool like APOS and see where it's registered, etc. Now, if you would like to create an entity, all you have to do is just right mouse click and then add a value, for example, test. To, and then the link that you have found and what type of entity for example a bank and we can choose a color size and a badge and then I can click on add and here we have it in here so we can move it with the mouse it's very simple easy and if we would like to create a relationship from sad to this bank we can just click on relationship and click on sad and hold the mouse and then move it to the entity that we have created and then this will pop up I can add more information for example test in here add and we can see that we have test written in the relationship to the bank and if I would like to delete it I can click on these dots and then click on delete and that's it now one crucial factor to consider is privacy you don't want the information that you have gathered to be shared unintentionally with OSINT tracker all your data is stored locally and not on a remote server so they are stored locally in your browser database, ensuring that your information remains private. So if you would like to view this database, you can hold the shift, control and I keys just to open the developer mode and then click on storage and then go to index database. And we can see that there is one called OSINT tracker right here. You can click on investigation, language and all the other things to find more information about the database that is stored on your browser. Now, if you would like to conduct a more advanced or a more complex OSINT investigation, I recommend using a tool called Maltego. Maltego is a free tool that you can download from their official website that also provide a visualization of the relational graph and all the relationship between the entity, just like we have seen with OSINT trackers, but Maltego supports more entity types than OSINT tracker. And it also comes with some plugins that you can install them in Maltego and automate some of the OSINT tasks for you. For example, if you have a name or a website, then there will be a plugin to search for this name on the internet or search for a website, get the DNS records, etc. So let's see how we can use this tool. All right, so after downloading Maltego and creating a free account, you just need to sign in. There are hundreds of videos on how you can do this. And here we have just a basic example of the information that I found about myself. You can see my name along with my social media platforms. So you can see the number of 
entity types that comes with Maltego. So there are many that you can use. And if you would like to add more, then you can add or install some plugins. So you just need to click on this network right here. And here are the plugins that you can use with the Maltego, like Scam Advisor, Virus Total, Shodan, etc. So if you would like to create an entity, all you have to do just to drag and drop an entity to the graph like this. And then you can change the name to test, for example, and add some more information like the UID, profile, URL, alias, image, and some graph info if you would like to. And you can also add a connection or a relationship between the main entity. For example, here we have Saad Saraj. I just need to click on Saad Saraj and drag and drop this arrow to the new entity. And then I can call it whatever I want, for example, test and OK. And we can see that it's very similar to OSINT Tracker. Another feature that you can use, for example, here we have multiple layouts. You can use the one that you would like to. The last tool that I would like to show you is called Obsidian. Now, Obsidian is a note-taking app, but it is great for geolocation OSINT. The coolest thing about it that make it different from all other tools that I have showed to you is that you can add videos in the graph and play the video from within the relational graph, which I think is much better than using a very basic, simple relational graph. And this is why I say that it's the best for GeoOcean. So let's say that you have multiple videos and you were able to identify their locations you can put them all in a relational graph, in a timeline, and then you can present them to non-technical people, which will make understanding and digesting this information much, much easier than just having a basic static relational graph. So let's see this tool. Now there is a wonderful video that is made about Obsidian in an OSINT way. It's made by the Cyber Intel with Gary Reddle. I really like his channel. He makes cyber threat videos and OSINT videos. Don't forget to watch it because using Obsidian at the beginning was a little bit difficult for me. So I've watched this video and everything made sense afterwards. So I highly recommend you watch the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel because he makes an amazing content. So here we have an example of the relational graph. So we can see that there are a lot of videos and photos in this graph. So here we have Saad, for example, the person that we are looking for, along with his email address. We can also see that when you add the URL, for example, of my YouTube channel, then you, this URL will be live, like you can interact with this window. You can scroll down, leave a like, etc. You can also add screenshots, as you can see in here. Here I have screenshots. And here we have my TikTok account. I can solve the CAPTCHA, for example and my website and my academy. Now, coming back, the best thing about this tool is that you can upload or add links of videos and play them from within the graph. So here we have an example. I have added the Google Maps URL of this location, the geo coordinates, and when this video was posted. So imagine that you have multiple videos that are connected together in a timeline and each of them is like geo oscented or the location is identified this would be amazing so that's it for this video if you liked this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and comment and tell me know whether you have used any of these tools or whether you know any other tool that i can talk about it in a youtube video if you'd like to learn more about OSINT, i have a step by step OSINT course on how you can perform an OSINT investigation from zero to the end, writing the report and delivering it to the client. You will see the link in the description. I have performed a complete OSINT investigation of someone and written an OSINT report. And all of this is shared in the OSINT course. So don't miss this out. If you like this video, leave a like and I'll see you soon.